The film was filmed in harsh conditions. The actors struggled with the heat, terrible humidity, and mosquitoes. The worst part was when they were shooting at night, as not only did the number of snakes on the set significantly increase, but it also became very cold. Arnold Schwarzenegger experienced the cold the most, having to run completely covered in mud and clay in the freezing cold. Schwarzenegger shook uncontrollably between takes, and they couldn't even warm him up using special lamps. He tried to stay warm with alcohol, but that didn't really help during filming, as he just got drunk. The insurance company of 20th Century Fox did not want to cover the production until Sunny Landamuna had a bodyguard hired. And no, it was not to protect a valuable talent like Sunny, but rather to protect others from him, as Landam was known for his short temper and love of getting into fights. The bodyguard had to follow Sonny nearly everywhere to ensure he did not get into trouble. Arnold Schwarzenegger introduced Jesse Ventura to the film. They interviewed Ventura, and Schwarzenegger decided that he looked very masculine and had a great, deep voice. The only people who did not experience diarrhea from the film crew were Arnold Schwarzenegger and John McTiernan. In fact, all the actors and crew members did not stay in the best Mexican hotels as there was a serious problem with the purified water there. However, McTiernan always boiled the water, and Arnold only ate canned food and drank bottled water. Get to the chopper, is Arnold Schwarzenegger's famous phrase. Peter Cullen, who provides the voice for the Predator, originally did not want to do voice acting, as he had already injured his vocal cords in the movie King Kong. However, after seeing how the Predator looked without a mask, he changed his mind. Although Jean-Claude Van Damme originally played a predator in the film and was fired after only a couple of days, there are some shots of him still in the film due to special effects. The special effect used to create the blood of the predator is a mixture of glow sticks and jelly. Filming took place in real-life jungles in Mexico near Puerto Vallarta. The process was challenging for everyone involved. Kevin Peter Hall, in an interview, said that this was not a movie but a story about survival. For example, in a scene where the Predator is chasing Dutch, the water was muddy, stagnant, and full of leeches. Hall, because he couldn't see through the mask, had to rehearse his scenes with the actress and memorize them so he could perform actions from memory later. Also, venomous snakes and scorpions were commonly encountered during filming. Arnold Schwarzenegger, who played the role in the film, lost nearly 15 kilograms for the part. Arnold believed a military operative needed to be slimmer than a bodybuilder for the role. The screenwriters slipped the script under the door of one of the executives at 20th Century Fox. No one was interested in reading their story, as everywhere they went, they were met with closed doors and rejections. That's when they came up with the idea of taking their script to an original source. They were fortunate that the script had not been thrown away, but rather sent to producer John Davis. Davis was thrilled and brought in additional producers, Lawrence Gordon and Joel Silver, who had recently finished producing the film Commandos. The latter invited Arnold to star in the new film, making it the perfect opportunity for them to showcase their talents. Shane Black hated the glasses he had to wear in the movie. He asked for army-issued glasses, which are issued to real military personnel, but the director, John McTiernan, insisted on using the glasses that Black was given. He wanted the actor to appear as ridiculous and geeky as possible. Arnold Schwarzenegger frequently missed rehearsals for his wedding to Maria Shriver due to filming. Schwarzenegger claims that he did so because he wanted to create a great movie rather than have a great wedding. Shriver agrees with him. However, many people believe that the real reason was that John McTiernan and Jesse Ventura teased and made fun of Schwarzenegger at every opportunity when it came to his wedding. Schwarzenegger was offended and tried to show them that he was in charge. The idea for the film started with a joke. At the time in the USA, there was a popular joke about the defunct movie Rocky IV. In Rocky V, the main character Stallone had to fight an alien because he had already beaten all the other fighters in the world. The screenwriters, brothers Jim and John Thomas, took this idea about a man facing off against an alien as the basis for the movie. There's also reason to think that the Thomases may have been inspired by the painting Without Warning, where the alien character was also played by Peter Hall. 
Carl Weathers says that he developed a love for smoking cigars after meeting Arnold. Arnold gave Weathers a cigarette on set, and when Weathers noticed he liked it, Arnold gave him a box of them. The gurgling and clicking noises that the Predator makes in the film were Peter Cullen's idea. After seeing what an alien looks like under a mask, Cullen decided that the Predator resembled a crab. According to Cullen's memoirs, when crabs are turned over, they begin to gurgle and click their claws. The filmmakers tried to use a monkey to film in the movie. They wanted to capture footage of the monkey making nimble jumps through the trees. However, the monkey kept trying to tear off the red costume, which was later removed from the final product during post-production. As a result, this idea was abandoned. The Predator costume and work of Stan Winston Studio cost $1.5 million. Originally, they wanted to save money on the costume, and the Predator looked like a giraffe with the body of an arthropod. Arnold described what he saw as a man in a duck costume. In this costume, Jean-Claude Van Damme ran across the set. When the costume was discarded, it was necessary to reshoot almost the entire final battle. The film's budget was $15 million, and it grossed $98 million worldwide at the box office.